Hello everyone, Monroe Steel here from Fashion Steel NYC and welcome back to my channel. Do not forget to give me a thumbs up and subscribe if you love fashion, beauty, lifestyle, and travel videos. Today I have a really good video for you all. I'm showing you the top six coat trends for fall, showing you a few of my fall coats and winter coats and just you know, giving you the 411 on the six types of coats that everyone is going to be wearing this fall and winter season. I've also partnered with Nordstrom on this video, so special thank you to Nordstrom for sponsoring today's video. You all know that I am a Nordstrom ambassador, and so for the rest of the year, I will be bringing you all the tea, all the good things from Nordstrom. Of course, they have a ton of amazing coats, and I'm going to be showing you and linking down below in the description box some of my favorites of these styles that I'm going to show you today. So definitely if you're interested in some new fall or winter coats and outerwear check the links down below. I'm going to be linking each of my favorites from the Nordstrom site from each category and all of the coats that are still available because a lot of these are old from my collection. If they're still available I will link those as well on my like to know it and you can shop that way. So without further ado we're just going to get right into it but first of course I'm going to show you my outfit and you can find it over on my like to know it account for the outfit details. For starters guys I know someone is going to ask me about this lip. This is one of my favorite red lipsticks for fall and winter. It's very deep. This is NARS Cruella and I absolutely love it. It works really well if you have a yellow undertone. These earrings I cannot remember the name of them, I'm so sorry. The necklace is from Electric Picks and this stunning white sweater dress is a brand new favorite. If you follow me on Instagram, you've already seen this. And if you wanna know all the things I'm shopping, just head over to my Instagram and head to my Let's Shop highlight. There's a swipe up link to this and everything else that I wear on Instagram. The boots are a nice combat boot. They're very Bottega-esque, but they are indeed a dupe. A little bit more expensive than like a high street dupe but definitely a wonderful boot that I'm just loving right now. I love this whole look and again you can find it on my like to know it account. So let's just go ahead and get into the first trend coat of the fall and winter season and that's my favorite, my personal favorite which is a trench coat. So let's start with trench coats, which is definitely a coat we all need this fall and winter. And it's definitely my favorite coat. I think it's just instantly chic. I recently did a blog post letting you all know every trench coat, hat, and white boot to buy this fall. So check that out. I will link that post down below if you are interested. We will start with this beauty that I actually picked up from Nordstrom. This is a Tibby trench coat in a blue satin color. You guys, this trench coat is stunning. I've actually been looking for a trench coat in a color. I have a lot of like neutral trench coats, which is the normal color that a trench coat comes in. And yes, that's chic and that's fine and it's needed in your wardrobe, but something with a little color does go a long way, especially when you live in a place like New York City when fall and winter roll around and everyone's just wearing gray and black, seeing a burst of color like this is always just a plus. This is from one of my favorite brands, Tibby. You guys know I live for Amy Smilovic. She's amazing. You should definitely follow her on Instagram. She always gives tips about designing collections. This is a pretty long trench coat, beautiful satin material. It's kind of like double breasted. I guess it has these two pieces here. Of course it has that classic trench piece. It has a belt that wraps around, huge pockets. I just, I love this. You could probably even wear this as a dress. So I picked this up, I saw it at Nordstrom online and I just, I had to have it. I would definitely link this down below for you all if you are interested in this particular trench coat in this stunning like baby blue color that is so popular 
right now. I got the size medium. I'm normally a medium in everything. I'm five foot six inches tall. I wear a size six or 28. And the medium fits perfectly. It's a little bit oversized, which I love, but you can really cinch it in with the belt. So that is the first trench coat. And now I'm gonna show you the next. All right, here is my next trench coat, which you may have already seen in a previous haul. It is this Frankie Shop trench coat. And I absolutely love this because of the neutral color, which pretty much just can go with anything this fall and winter. A nice like brownish, taupeish, neutral color really fits in well with my wardrobe because I either wear a lot of color and this can tone it down or I wear a lot of like monochromatic whites and nudes and beiges which is super trendy this fall and this fits right in to make the look really smart and really chic. Again I got the size medium large in this Frankie Shop trench coat and I just I love it. It's just so good. This is definitely going to be worn a lot. Usually every season I buy one new trench coat because I wear my trench coats <laughs> into the ground. This one with the collar, it could do so many different things and that's why I love this one. Now this one is pretty new. And again, if you follow my Insta stories, you've already seen this in the Let's Shop highlight. Definitely check that out. But this is so new, it still has the tag on it. But I love this trench coat because I was looking for a lighter color. And this one is just a lighter color, like beige. And I love this two-tone because it has like a, a darker color here and a lighter color here. And it just gives it a little something extra. I also love the sleeves, how you can tie this to make it like either a poofy sleeve or more straight. It does have pockets. It has a nice belt that comes with it. And really just what got me with this one was the price. It was just awesome. And this two-tone here, I just love that. I think it just adds a little something extra to the trench coat. So number one, trending coat for fall and winter in my opinion is definitely a good trench coat and like i said nordstrom has some amazing ones like this stunning satin blue trench coat and a few others that i have linked down below so make sure to check those out and get yourself a trench coat they have so many and also they have so many great price points whatever your price or your budget is they definitely have something for you All right, so let's get into the second kind of coat that is definitely trending this fall and winter season, and that is a cape. Yes, capes are, I feel like they come in and out of style, and there's just something about a cape that instantly makes any outfit more chic, more elevated, and just makes it look more expensive. Even if you wear it with you know, a pair of jeans and a booty, and a sweater i mean that cape just it levels it up and so i have two from my collection to show you all today the first one being this brown one here like i don't even remember where i got this from it's so old it has this whole cape feel you can see there's a button here to create a sleeve that your arm can come through nice cozy wool like camel brownish color with tortoise shell buttons in black and brown and i just love this i actually love just throwing this on if i need to go to the grocery store or i need to run some quick errands when it's not freezing cold but you just need an extra layer it looks great over like a, a thin sweater um, as well as like a turtleneck or a roll neck and some jeans just really cute can't go wrong with the cape. And I will also be linking some great capes from Nordstrom down below in the description box. All right, next up, we have one more kind of cape style coat. And this one is super old. I've had this one for at least five years. It is a gray wool with the matching like gray buttons. And it also has a hood. It like kind of reminds me of Little Red Riding Hood, but uh, in gray, of course. It has kind of like a cocoon shape, which was really big a couple of years ago, and I kind of see it starting to come back. So don't worry about having to actually go out and buy anything new. Check your wardrobe, go through your coats, and see what is trending again, because 
things always come in and out of style. I'm actually really grateful that I didn't get rid of this because I was thinking about donating it. But again, it has those shorter sleeves that you can just kind of put your arms through and it has a whole just cape feel, super cozy in this like wool fabric. I, at least I think it's wool, it might be something else made in Peru by the way. But I like this one because it's gray and it goes better with like my blacks and my grays and my whites. With this one, I can pair this more with like with my denims, it looks better. And so, you know, I have a few options. So the second most trending coat you're gonna need this fall and winter is a cape. And like I said, I've linked a few down below, a few of my favorites from North Shore. Now let's get into the third, which might be my second favorite kind of coat. And that is a wool coat or a fabric coat. So let's start with wool. I mean, this is a stunning wool, like, what is this color, cognac almost? Brown coat, and I've had this so long, like I don't even remember where I got it from. But this is a staple in my wardrobe every fall and winter. One, because it's super warm and cozy, and two, because it just looks so chic with anything that I wear. Brown is a huge color this fall and winter, by the way, so if you don't have a brown coat, maybe think about getting getting one in that color if your budget allows. This one has nice pockets. It has those little magnetic clip buttons. And I mean, it's just a really smart coat. It's pretty long. And I also love the belt on this, that it has a little hole that you put the belt through and you can tie it a few different ways. Such a really great coat. I wear it all the time. We're gonna leave this out because it's freezing today in New York City. Like, hey Alexa, what's the weather? In New York, it's 57 degrees Fahrenheit with cloudy skies. Today, we can look for rainy weather with a high of 60 degrees and a low of 52 degrees. You guys, it is 57 degrees according to Alexa. And that's crazy. I mean, I guess it's not that crazy, but I never remembered it being this cold this fast in New York City. So there you have it, this wool coat. And you all may have remembered this one here from Zara. I actually wore this one during New York Fashion Week in February before the entire world like closed down. Seems like a lifetime ago to be honest. Zara has some amazing outerwear by the way. So this is super old. I actually got this on sale last year yeah it was definitely last year in 2019 because then i wore it in february but i just love the shape of this it's very kind of oversized trench it doesn't have much shape it does have pockets you could tie the belt really tight to give it some more shape you can even almost wear this as a dress and some of my jackets or coats i like to get a large because i do have broad shoulders and sometimes i just like that oversized feel which is very in right now that's trending and so this one i went with a size large and I just love the way it looks. The thing with coats is you can have a, a basic one that's gonna go with everything in your wardrobe like this. And then you can have something that's a little more fun, more standout like this in a fun pop of color like pink or blue or whatever your favorite color is. And last but not least for my wool and fabric coats, this is actually a fabric coat and it has a lot more shape. It has that kind of hourglass, very Balenciaga-ish hourglass shape that was so huge last year. Uh, I think I snagged this from And Other Stories, but ugh, this, how it goes in and kind of flares out was what really got me. It also has pockets and it also has like a little bit of shoulder padding in the shoulders to give you a more sh very structured look. I wore this coat so much. I think I told everybody about this coat when I first got it. But I think it's just so chic and so smart. And it does give you that Balenciaga hourglass coat look without the price tag, of course. And everybody just needs a good black trench coat. Everybody, that's, I mean, you need it. It's a staple in my wardrobe. I love actually pairing this with like dresses and tall boots, whether that's like a combat boot 
or a more dressy boot like a Stuart Weitzman boot. Luckily Nordstrom has so many amazing black trench coats that I've linked down below for you guys so definitely check that out if you're in the market for something a little more structured something that you can wear every single day a coat staple if you will so that is trend number three for fall and winter coats which is a wool coat or a fabric trench coat now let's go ahead and get into coat number four which I feel like is still going to be huge this type of coat like everybody loves this type of coat and if you can find a good one it will last you forever and that is a teddy coat so here is one of my favorite teddy coats and the reason they call it teddy coats is because like the fabric almost looks like a teddy bear and this one is in black I can't actually remember where I got this one, but I will link it in my like to know it along with the rest of the coats featured here if they are still available. Again, I remember when I bought this coat, I didn't have this one that I just showed you. And I was just looking for something black because I didn't have a black coat, which was just insane to me. And so I went with this teddy coat. It is super warm, but it's actually pretty light. Like I know sometimes teddy coats can be very weighty very heavy this one isn't it has like a few buttons here in the front and it just fits really well i think i got the size yes medium in this and this is kind of meant to be oversized so i love that it does not have a belt it just has this little piece in the back but normally when i wear this it's so hot that i wear it open any time of like any time i wear it even if it's in the dead of winter so of course i have more than one teddy coat because there was a year that i was obsessed with teddy coats and they are everywhere you can literally just go online and find them anywhere for every price point and i got this one this may have been my first ever teddy coat i don't even remember but it is in this beautiful neutral color that just kind of goes with everything super warm again this one actually is pretty heavy so if you're investing in teddy coats just know that you're going to need a little bit of space in your closet because they do take up quite a bit of space but i love this one because of the color i usually pair this one with more colors that i have in my wardrobes with my my jewel tones that i tend to wear a lot of in the fall and winter like my purples my eggplants my merlots uh, my blues all of those things I like to pair with this because it kind of creates a color blocking moment this one is a size medium it does come with a cool little belt again i love the fact that the buttons are very similar in color to the coat and it just kind of makes everything uniform it makes everything blend in a really cool teddy coat oh it does take up a lot of space though y'all i can't even front it like these coats need space so trend number four coat that you need in your wardrobe for fall and winter is the teddy coat they're gonna be everywhere i've linked a few down below from nordstrom and you could definitely check those out okay so number five of the top trending coats for fall and winter is none other than the bubble coat i feel like last winter season they were the number one trend i think this year it's more of the trench coat but definitely last year it was the bubble coat you saw them in every color you saw them in every fabric and of course i went i went in because i was i was on it here is my first bubble coat this one is actually a little bit shorter it's not really a trench coat or a long coat but look at this buttery soft vegan leather ah it's so good i got the size medium it has covered buttons which is really great with the high collar i think i actually wore this during new york fashion week these coats were everywhere i love the extra long sleeves it's kind of giving me like boyfriend vibes you know oversized bubble coat a little more masculine type of look but i absolutely love it the color is great it goes with everything in my wardrobe and it's just buttery soft Ooh. Definitely gonna show you guys some more of my bubble coats because like I said, I went I went pretty hard. And I have a few. This is not even all of them. This next one is this white one. 
and like i don't even know what i was thinking buying a white coat with my brown makeup but as you can see it looks good and it still has the tag on it because i got it so late i actually ordered this for fashion week back in february 2020 and it ended up like getting lost in the mail and then i had to get a replacement and then by the time it came it was like march <laughs> and so i never even wore it but definitely gonna get some wear out of it this season and it's basically an abominable what is it abominable 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 snowman y'all know what i'm trying to say it has this black trim which is like super chic it's basically like a black and white color block and that's it's exactly how i want it to wear it such good quality super duper warm and what i love about this jacket is that on the sides it has a zipper so that you can zip it up and so it can really show off like your boots or whatever it is you're wearing underneath or you can zip it down for more coverage and that's that comes on both sides so little you know quirky things like that i love that about this coat it has pockets here it has pockets up here as well one long zipper and also like velcro pieces that you can snap together we'll be wearing this soon hopefully you know this is probably my last winter here in new york city so i'm gonna try and get my wear out of this coat and pop this tag off of it because i've had it for almost a year now and it needs to be worn i actually went with the small in this because it ran super duper large i don't think this is available anymore but like i said anything here that i can find similar to i will link them on my like to know it account so i have one more bubble coat and that is this one that you would have seen me wear earlier this year during the winter it's another bubble coat that's pretty oversized but it's in this gorgeous color that just goes with everything i love pairing this with like my celine boots and a pair of jeans and maybe a form fitting like black turtleneck it just works this one also has a hood which is perfect if it's like snowing or flurrying or even raining and this one has more of like a shiny look whereas the shorter one has more of like a muted look and that's how i justified buying two in a similar colorway but this one is extra long again love how the buttons are covered so it looks very uniform and this is just super warm i love wearing this one like in the dead of winter because it's so warm so that is my collection of bubble coats which is number five on the top trending coats this fall and winter of course i've linked a few of my favorite from nordstrom down below in the comments and if any of these are available again they will be linked on my like to know it account now we have gone through all five we are at the last one which i could not leave this one off the list because every time i wear this coat people go crazy for it and it is this faux fur trench coat i mean it does look super real like sometimes i'm scared to wear this because i feel like someone's gonna throw paint on me but like for real for real this is faux fur but it just looks amazing the colorway on it is just so spot on it is super long it's definitely a trench this takes up so much space in my wardrobe like it needs its own closet to close it there are these hidden little snaps that you can barely see and they kind of clip on to the other side and it pretty much just has this v neck kind of open look there is no hood although i do have a shorter version of this one that does have a hood which is wonderful too but i wear this coat every single winter and i get so many questions about it it does come in and out of stock so like i said i will link this on my like to know it if it's available and you can check it out and i just love the color i feel like this is definitely a neutral it goes with everything in my wardrobe especially a lot of grays blacks and whites that i tend to wear more of in the fall and winter season so there you have it the top six coats trending this fall and winter and a few from my very own collection special thanks to nordstrom for sponsoring today's video and remember i have linked all of my favorites from nordstrom for each category which includes trench coats capes 
wool and other fabric trench coats, bubble coats, teddy coats, as well as faux furs. So let me know down in the comments which coat you prefer the most for this fall and winter season. Like which one is more your style? Which one do you think you will get the most wear out of this fall and winter? For me, it's definitely the trench coat. I just, there's something so chic about it. I just, I'm loving a good trench coat right now. Thank you guys so much for watching if you enjoyed this video please do give me a thumbs up it helps me out a ton i mean it also lets me know what kind of videos you guys want to see more of and also subscribe if you haven't yet go ahead and subscribe and make sure to click that little notification bell so that you never miss a video all right guys stay tuned for more thank you again for watching and i will see you all in the next one bye